What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophets, and I'm back with another video. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards, <clears throat> excuse me, based off what Spirit tells me, the Holy Angels, and the Divine, and I'm going to do a reading for Sagittarius. Reading for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I hate when Spirit do that. They telling me to get some of my romance oracles and some of my prism oracles. We have trust. I'm hearing that song by Keisha Cole. Trust and believe me. Yeah. Somebody is full of shit, man. It's like you could be walking away from somebody and they pissed off because it's like this person don't want you to walk away. You've grown. Just know that you've grown. It's like this person is saying you can trust me, but it's like this person is cocky. Yeah, because we have confidence here. This person is cocky. It's like this person got a big ass ego. I mean, you got a big ego. Yeah. It's like you're focused on something else. You're you've grown out of this. You've grown from this person. You're passionate about whatever you're doing. I mean, your career field. You could be focusing on your career, focusing on abundance. Yeah. Your intuition could be really high, uh, heightened right now. I'm hearing small thing to a giant. Yeah, you strong. You standing in your power. And you're at peace. Whoever this person is need to get a life. This is why they frustrated. And sad. And projecting their energy off onto you. But rejection is protection. This person needs to surrender to the divine. And focus on their own abundance. And focus on themselves and get and, and, and isolate themselves so they can help themselves. Somebody need to get some help. Because if maybe they'll be happy if they get some help. Because somebody finna experience a, a death. Whether that's a physical death or some type of spiritual death. Whoever this is, they idolize you. They watch you all the time. They're very admired by you. Because you're somebody that's very illuminated. And you exude love. You're very enlightened. You could be a master mason. I'm hearing 33rd degree. By bloodline though. This could have been somebody that ghosted you in the past. Yeah, spirit is saying stop. Be cautious. If you allow this person to come back in. If this person tries to reconcile with you. Don't get too comfortable. Because we have hunger here. It's like you hunger for greatness. You over here trying to build generational wealth. But whoever the fuck this is, Sagittarius, they hungry to try to destroy you. They don't like the fact that you're so determined. And they don't like the fact that you're creative. And you're manifesting a life of abundance. Now, how in the hell did all these cars just go back to back like that? My spirit gods fuck with me heavy. I'm telling you this person needs to stop because they they causing their own pain. And you keep on keeping the faith. Because spirit is protecting you. Look, because this, this, <laughs> this person is trying to play off in your energy, man. And it's not working. And they're getting pissed off. Spirit is protecting you from this person. This person is so mad because you know your worth and you're confident and you're standing in your power. Now this... This person then did all of this shit. Now look, trust is way over here. This person then did all of this shit to you. And they saying you can trust them. Who the fuck would trust that? Somebody tell them to call Tyrone. And tell him, come on. Help you get your shit. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> you need to... Called Tyrone. Yeah, you over here resting and rejuvenating, getting your beauty rest. <clears throat> you over here balanced. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. I should have not ate that spicy ass food. Anyways, yeah, and you conscious. Spirit is saying you need to cleanse your home.
cleanse your area. Open a window. Cleanse. Because this person is doing heavy fucking spell work. Sad part is the fear card came out in the reverse. This person don't even fear God. They probably don't even fucking believe in God. <clears throat> All because you moved forward. And things are going well for you. Things are flowing in life. This person don't fear God. <laughs> it's like... This is the fucked up part about it, Sagittarius. This person don't fear God. They fear your success. Make it make sense. That don't make sense, do it. How in the hell you not going to fear God, but it, this person fears that you're going to turn out better than them. This person fears that you're going to do, do more than them. This could be your own fucking family that feel like this. These people are shivering. They cold and it ain't even cold outside yet. At least not where I'm at. I'm in Texas. But it's like they shivering. It's cold. It's like these people so scared. These people so scared that, that, that you going to make it and you going to be successful. They angry about this. It's causing them anxiety. Because you've drawn space. But you're sweet. You're loving. All of this fuck shit and bullshit. You didn't deserve this. You can be a divine masculine or a divine feminine. These people are doing everything in their power to try to cause disruption in your life. Because you're secret. You keep your business secret. You went into hermit mode. You a mystery to these people. But they need to take a look at themselves and quit trying to bother you and stop you and keep you stuck. Now spirit is telling me to pull my romance oracles. Now tell me how in the hell did spirit do that? I just pulled that whole deck of my prism oracles and gave a whole damn message. My spirit guys fuck with me heavy. I love y'all so much. Come through ancestors. Anyways, spirit is saying to stay optimistic about your love life because I'm hearing you about to meet your soul tribe. I don't feel like that's really a lover. You could be meeting a new lover too, but I'm hearing you about to meet your soul family. So even though you could have been born into a demonic family or a karmic family and you could have went through all type of karmic cycles, I'm hearing with your parents, your siblings, your cousins, your brothers, your uncles, I don't fucking like, you know, your aunties, your aunt, I don't know. I feel like you're somebody that was born into a demonic family. You are the black sheep of your family. But God put you here for a reason and a purpose because you chosen. And these people can't stand that and they're in fear. They don't know what to do because they know that you're going to be successful. They can see it. You shining bright like a diamond. You, you're shining like a star. You are probably a fucking star. It's probably in your birthright. And we have love yourself first. And I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like when you show unconditional love, again, it was never. It, it's never been reciprocated. We have this could be the one. I feel like you could be getting a high-level soulmate coming in, but I'm not really finna tap into that. I feel like you guys could already probably know that intuitively. Or, you know, I don't know. Take what resonates, leave what don't. I feel like a lot of you are about to meet your soul tribe. It's like maybe you were born into a demonic family, a fucked up family, but God is finna send you your, your real family, your true family. Anything else, Spirit, for Sagittarius? Just hold on because we have worth, worth waiting for. Just hold on and let God let God do his work. Now, don't, don't, don't be trying to play God in your own life. And most definitely don't try to play God in nobody else's life. But I don't think y'all doing that. Spirit is saying be cautious, cautious and keep the faith because you can most definitely trust in the Most High. Because the Most High will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll always have your back. And you're destined for greatness. And these people are pissed off and mad because you freed yourself. And these people could also be trying to block your love life. They know that you're about to meet a high-level soulmate. They also could be saying that you're in a relationship with somebody. And you could be having sex for money. I, I don't fucking know. I'm not finna get into all that. I'm so tired of picking up on that fuck shit and bullshit. People always got somebody name in their mouth. That's a form of spell work. For the people in the back that's watching my channel that don't fucking like me, let me tell you something. And for the people that do like me, I don't fucking know. But let me tell y'all something. When you gossip about people and you talk about people, that's a form of spell work. Especially if you gossiping and talking about a chosen one. Stop it. 
Because you 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 forfeiting your own destiny. Matter of fact, you cursing your own bloodline. If I was these people, I would retreat, I would retreat and fall back and stop. If not, God is finna call judgment in their life. God didn't already call judgment in their life. But they not gonna quit though because they scared. Look, they in fear. They scared that you gonna make it. You're gonna be successful. And guess what? You are. Because nothing can stop you. You all the way up. That's how you gonna be. You probably gonna be able to hold money to your ear. And don't be cocky. Remember, be humble. Because just like God can give it to you, he can take it. Remember where you, who you are. Don't forget where you come from. Don't get on your high horse. But I'm hearing humanitarian. I'm hearing a lot of you could be destined to be a humanitarian. I'm hearing heal the world. You are a natural born leader and healer. And that's what these people don't like about you. That's what these people can't stand about you. Because you're somebody to speak the truth. And you're standing in your power. And you don't look like what you went through. And you're chosen. These people had unrequited love. Look, I told you I can't make this up. This was unrequited love. It was never reciprocated. But now you're about to get a new love. You're about to meet a, a high-level soulmate. Or you finna be with a, with a twin flame. And you're about to meet your soul tribe. Lots of chemistry. Between this soul tribe, these people, this person, romantic feelings. And spirit of sin is going to be okay. It's going to be safe for you to love. Because whatever is going to take place in your life has been divinely orchestrated by the heavens, by the spiritual court, by the gods. And when I say gods, I'm not talking about the God. And I don't worship many gods. I'm not a damn pagan. I'm just saying by the gods, your ancestors, the true ones, not the ones that sleeping in their grave. That, 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 that was evil and got to be left behind and come into a new body when the rapture happened. I'm talking about the, your A1 day ones, the ones that kept it, keep it real, the one that got your back, the one that's been there since birth, since you came out your mama womb. The ones that remember you from your past life, them ancestors. Pay attention to the red flags. Don't let these past people forfeit your destiny. Don't let these past people stop you from getting to your abundance. Don't do that. Be mindful. Use discernment because these people will have, boo, boo, boo. ooh, spirit, thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Spirit is telling me these people would, would do anything to be sitting in the seat that you in right now. These people would do anything to be where you at right now. There's so many people suffering and struggling. And a lot of people are suffering and struggling right now because they've sown bad seeds. If you sow, if you sow bad seeds or good seeds, you're going to reap it. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of these people are struggling right now. Financially, they're having financial hardships. And don't get me wrong, some people are struggling right now because they need to go to God and quit, and quit trying to play God in their own life. Some people are struggling because they've done, they've done people wrong and they've mistreated people. But some people just need to pray and go to God and get on their knees. God will help you if you open your mouth. Closed mouths don't get fed. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it in a bad way or a negative way, but sometimes if you want God to do something for you and you want God to bless you, you need to go to him with a sincere heart, a sincere heart and quit trying to play God in your own life. Shit, God is a jealous God. We have release your ex. So you could have released somebody that you was connected to in the past, but I feel like this is family. These people are, 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 are this is past energy. Because we have let go of control issues that need to let go of control issues. They wanted to control you and your life. This is sad. I feel like this family always knew who, excuse me, always knew who you were. This is sad. Like I said, you about to meet your soul tribe and your true love gonna be lots of chemistry getting to know each other you're gonna get to know this new person you're gonna get to know this soul tribe these people i don't know where you're going i don't know where you're headed but sagittarius you're destined for greatness anything else spirit and spirit is saying don't be afraid to express your love don't be afraid to be passionate don't be afraid to be who you are i feel like you're gonna turn into a social butterfly don't be afraid to be a social butterfly you know what I'm saying? If you feel isolated right now, spirit may have done that for a reason. Actually, the spirit may have isolated you to protect you from this family, this demonic karmic family you were born in. 
But Spirit is saying things are shifting. Things are changing. Hold on. You're about to meet your soul child in the love of your life. All right. And this love of your life could be a past life soulmate. I'm hearing this could be a high level soulmate. I told you. Calling in your soulmate. This is somebody you're going to marry because we have honeymoon here. And this is somebody that you're going to be able to trust. And I'm hearing that this person is very handsome or very beautiful. They're very much attracted to you and you're going to be very much attracted to them. And you're going to be able to talk talk to this person about any anything because we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. Somebody could be wanting to reach out to you or you could be, could be wanting to reach out to this person. I don't know this person. Some, whoever this person is, this new person, this new love. It, this could be your soul tribe as well. They could be wanting to reach out to you. Because we have let your friends help you. So somebody could be wanting to reach out to you. Or a group of people could want to reach out to you. And this is going to happen very soon. You may be reconciling with somebody. I'm hearing children could be involved. So you this could be some type of blended family here. Yeah, engagement. Somebody is going to ask for your hand in marriage. Because you deserve love, Sagittarius. And you've healed because we have healing family healing family issues. I feel like you're somebody that's broken every generational curse over your life, over your family. And because of that, God is going to bless you with finances in a beautiful... God is going to bless your finances and your career. Spirit is saying, be careful though, because more money, more problems. When you get this blessing, more money, more problems. A lot of these people that that's, that's, that that tried to sabotage you and, and keep you from your destiny, these very same people are gonna try to be codependent on you, because they know that you're gonna be successful. Spirit is saying, you you're gonna be able to make the decision of who you want to eat at your table. You're gonna know who to separate from. I think that's it, you guys. So Sagittarius, be wise, be mindful, use discernment. Don't let these people stop you from your keep you from your destiny destiny. I mean, number one, you are already protected, you know what I'm saying? But it's like don't let these people will play on your emotions, people will do spell work, people will do shit to you to stop you and try to keep you from getting to your destiny. So don't fall for the okie doke. Keep focused, stay focused. And just know you are protected. You, you don't have to. You don't got to fear nothing. Only thing you need to fear is God. These people need to fear God. But obviously they don't because they keep trying to stop your success. But you just keep trusting and believing in the most high. And you are protected. And, and hey, keep your space. I'm telling you, keep space. Continue to be in hermit mode until God tell you to be a social butterfly. Or what I'm not saying you don't need to get out, but continue to stay away from these people. Keep your space and keep your distance, distance because these people are trying to stop your destiny and stop your abundance. These people really, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a buck and I'm gonna keep it a thousand. These people want you dead. You're too powerful. They want to get rid of you. All right. My name is the Comatic Medium Prophetess Sagittarius. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you and goodbye.